We are back here at City Center with your buddy. Yeah, it's uh, Tom Grassman, one of the founding directors of the First Gig Rock Camp. And uh, we got to hear from one of the bands already and going to hear from them again by the end. But let's talk for those who don't know what this camp is and all about and why you guys decided to uh, start it in the first place. Uh, well, the camp is very simple. It's about rocking and rolling. We take these kids, we teach them how to rock. Um, it really started, it was kind of the brainchild of Peter Blackman, who's the general manager of the Danville David S. Palmer Arena. Mm -hmm. And he approached uh, myself and Jeff Marklin and Guido about eight or years ago or so and was like, I have this idea to do a camp for kids. And he wanted us to be in on it. And so the four of us just started it. We didn't know what we were doing. And now we kind of know what we're doing. What are your areas of focus for these kids? I would assume they all come in with an idea of what they want to do or what they want to be, whether it's a singer or a musician or maybe even someone in production. What are kind of some of the ways that you help them out in those areas? Um, you know, it, the performance is first and foremost. Uh, individual instruments, as I think Jeremy mentioned, you know, there are private lessons that happen throughout the course of the day. Um, but we focus on performance, like how to get up and entertain a crowd. It's not just about playing music. It's about <laughs> giving them a rock kick and, and so forth. Uh, I can't play music or do that. So, <laughs> uh, You know, your appearance, your clothing, the way you present yourself on stage. We, do, we put them in a recording studio. We give them the chance to experience all the different facets of, you know, merchandising. We, we make T-shirts and... Yeah, the band has a name and a logo now, which is super cool. Talk about uh, getting out and about in the community. We're about halfway through the Champagne Week now, and you guys have things seemingly every night that are out and about giving these kids an opportunity to play. We do. The, uh, this is the first year. So this is maybe our eighth or ninth year of doing the camp and our fourth or fifth in Champagne. Um, when we do it in Danville, we go out every night and we have these events after hours. So that's something we're trying, uh, for example, tonight at the Upper Bout, from six to eight, we're doing a musician's forum. We've got live entertainment. We're giving away a free guitar. Um, <clears throat> it's just a chance. We really wanted a chance for us to go out with first gig and get more involved with the community and our sponsors. Um, uh, Upper Bout's always been a great sponsor for us. El Toro right next door is a sponsor. So we're doing chips and salsa. Uh, we've got live music going on there. Uh, tomorrow night, we're at Boomerangs in Urbana. I can't imagine why that would be. <laughs> and that's going to be like an open stage, six to eight. The kids can come out. The instructors are going to be there. The kids are going to be there. And we invite members of the community, other musicians. I know Kathy Harden's here somewhere. She's going to come out and just jam with the kids. But we're just trying to get more involved and, and get outside of Parkland and do more events uh, with the community to raise awareness and to hopefully have a good time and then a final performance here on saturday for these kids at noon uh talk about the other two weeks of camp you've got danville and decatur uh can people still be involved and then for those who aren't kids but might want to sponsor something like this how can they do that um so yeah we have uh this week is the champagne camp we have a week off and then we do the danville camp uh we were just talking that we have about 30 kids enrolled uh, i think about 42 is our limit 42 43 so I would suspect that the Danville camp is going to sell out. So if you do want to get involved, you probably need to get to the website, uh, firstgig.com, First Gig Rock and Roll Camp. Uh. We'll put it on the screen, I promise. On the screen. <laughs> Edit it in later. Um, <clears throat> and then Decatur is in July. Uh, and Decatur, boy, they really, that town from the get-go, really embraced the concept. And, and that's enrollment's always been maxed out over there. Well, we will connect you with uh, how you can enroll for the camps, how you can sponsor these guys and everything they're doing. If you've got a business that'd like to do that at our website, which is CILiving.tv.